Um, okay, so speaking of, here's some of the arguments I got. I even got some arguments on, on YouTube about this. Um, excuse me, let me show you. Comments. Some detailed stuff. Here we go. Um, how do I go to, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, but in his example, he brought up languages, meaning Java versus .NET. And I think he also brought up vehicles and another. And, um, or tools, access card. So here, here's the thing I have a problem with. Humans have specializing learning and using sensor sets. And then he's, he noted all these things as sensor sets, access cars, rockets, electricity, physics, but no, 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 no. Those are not sensor sets. That is, that is absolutely not what I'm talking about. So what I'm talking about, when I'm talking about sensor sets, it's like, so here's your brain, right? And here's your sensor set. You got a hand, you got two legs, <laughs> you got another hand, that's an awful drawing. Here's an octopus's sensor set. It's got eight legs, or however, however many this is. One, two, three, four, it doesn't matter. Nine legs, whatever. Here's a spider's sensor set. So th I'm talking about bodies. I'm talking about bodies, not tools. So, th so there's a big difference between a body and a tool. All of these, all the vehicles that we use, or, or the instruments that we play, which is a, another example, of, I think maybe Falco, you said, those are tools that are used by our sensor set. Our body, our sensor set, our, sense of, our set of sensors, is, is tied so closely to our model of reality that you cannot detach it. You can't detach it. So in my example, in, in all these tools, this would be a car, truck, guitar, piano, you know, I, so I can, I can use my brain and my sensor set, which are my hands and my ears, to play a tune on guitar, to learn how to play guitar, but also to learn what music is, to learn how to communicate via the language of music. Then I could go to a keyboard, and I already know the language of music now, right? I've studied music theory, I've used my guitar, I've, I've done all this stuff. I can go to a keyboard and I can quickly learn how to play the keyboard way faster than I ever would if I had started with the keyboard and never learned the guitar because I understand music. This is all happening in, in the realm of tools. In your body, your hands and your ears are your sensor set. So it's not like, Trans, it's not like you don't transfer your learning of music. Um, you can transfer your learning of music by, by going from one tool to another. You can transfer all everything you know about music applies to every instrument that you decide to go learn. Musicians do this all the time. A musician can go pick up a new instrument very easily because he or she understands the concepts of music theory. Um, but if you detach to them from their sensor set, which means their ears, and their fingers and their body, there is no way they would ever be able to express music through another sensor set um, until they have relearned reality and what it means to be in a different body. Um, so Falco says, for me, my body is my tools. I think our brain has to make sense of it in the same way. Your body, tools are not your body. Tools, look up the definition of tools. <laughs> it doesn't say hands, right? I mean, it's, 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 it's technology. Tools, and techno uh, tools are like a technology. Um, our hands are, are, are different, that's biology. Where's my thing, okay. Um, so there's a, there's a huge difference between your body and, and your tools. Um, when we talk about tools, we can, we can again, I think, talk about reference frames. You've got a reference frame. I have a reference frame for how to play guitar. And I can express concepts that come from other areas, other reference frames in my life to that medium, right? If I learned how to play keyboard, I could do the same thing there. If I knew how to swing a hammer, and I do, I used to work in construction, believe it or not, I used to build buildings. And so I know how to use a hammer. I also know how to use a sledgehammer. And, and even if I've never done it before, I also can pick up a pickaxe and I know how to use it. Because all of that information about tools transfers. Because I'm using the same sensor set. I'm using my body. 
what I'm talking about when when we were talking about agency um, back in uh, where was it this one when I was talking about agency and and having an agent with a different body essentially move to a new body that my point is when you detach the model from the body that it used to learn about reality you are killing the thing and I don't want to use the word killing you cannot take that knowledge to the to a new to a new body and just uh, uh, expect it to transfer it doesn't work that way that the, your entire model has to be trashed that whole model that you learned in your previous body is now garbage you've got a completely new body now that you have to relearn reality it is your gateway to reality now everything that you learn through your other body has to be relearned um, so uh, let's see you love the stream great <laughs> happy uh, for my, for me, my okay. Formula One drivers know their car intimately. Soldiers learn learn how. To, yeah, but they're still tools. They're tools. They're not attached to your body. Your brain can um, can build up a reference frame around a tool that includes really includes exactly how its body molds with that tool to perform an action. Whether you're talking about shooting a gun or swinging a hammer or whatever. Um, if you transferred your body into an octopus you would not know how to interact with that tool anymore. If you transferred your body into another human-like body, theoretically, if you got all the nerve connections basically in the right place, after maybe a small acclimation time, perhaps a, another human-like body could do it. This is way, way in the future. This is not absolutely not possible today. I don't believe in human memory transfer at all at the moment. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see, uh, there's an experiment with a stick that shows how our brain... Yeah, I, I know that experiment too. Um, the rubber hand experiment, that's... A, yeah. But that doesn't... That, as far as I'm concerned, that... That that's, um, backs up my argument. Um, you... you you've, if, if the rubber hand experiment was um, a, an octopus tentacle, you wouldn't you wouldn't jump would you that's my point i think <laughs> uh if the, the rubber hand experiment we talked about i talked about that with carl cording in my interview with him if you want to uh see that go on what is going on here i have to go to my stand up soon cording i think i always call him the wrong name it's not Carl Cording, it's a uh, to view neuro science numenta. He was on our podcast. Conrad Cording, I always mess that up. Um, I talked about a little about this with him um, in this interview, if you want to see, if anybody wants to read up on it. Uh, okay, can the sense of a tool be transferred to cortical columns like body parts have? Yeah. Absolutely. Like, like I said, every object, this, this bottle opener is a tool, and I re this is represented in my cortical columns as an object, and I know exactly how it interacts with other objects, what other objects it interacts with, the motions that it needs to go through to do the, take the action that it's meant to use. Um, that's totally in my cortical columns, and it's intimately tied. My representation of this object is intimately tied with my sensors, with my body, with my sensor set. Everything I know about this object is defined by my eyes and my somatic senses, even my ears. I know what this type of material sounds like when I rub against it. I know what it's gonna feel like when I put it on my face. I know it's gonna be cold because it's metal. It's tied specifically and explicitly to my sensors, the definition of my sensors in space. That's what you have to remember about agency. If you train an agent with a sensor set, its representation of reality is defined by that sensor set. You cannot take it and detach it from its sensor set and, and attach a new sensor set to it and expect it to be able to apply anything at all. Okay. Uh, all right, so now I am gonna to have to take a break. I'm gonna to go to this 
taking a break. This is gonna be a stand-up meeting right now, so I'm gonna turn the music off. 